wanted to go for a run today, but it's bucketing down. Let's say that's the scenario, okay? We're gonna look at some aerobic versus anaerobic uh, stamina. And we're gonna use, I'm gonna show you a few drills that you can do uh, in or around your house, okay? If you've got room to do so, even in your garden or just out, out, out front on the pathway, anything like that, okay? These drills you can also take with you wherever you go, but uh, you know, in general, the point is you don't have to go very far to do them. So, the difference between aerobic and anaerobic, well, it's basically the difference between running and sprinting. So obviously, um, aerobic is where you're going at a consistent pace, it doesn't change, and you're going for a long period of time. So it's more about endurance, longevity, okay? Anaerobic is using as much energy as possible in a short amount of time, all right? So, for example, sprinting for 15 seconds which if you're pushing hard, takes it out of you very, very quickly, but it's uniting as, as many muscles as possible to really push hard, to make you move faster, to perform actions uh, uh, much more difficult in a short space of time. So what one do we want to use? Well, it's good to use both. As I said, aerobic is about endurance, anaerobic is about power or, sp or, or sprinting as such. So what one do we need to use? Well. As martial artists, we're better off trying to implement both, but more so on the anaerobic side because of sparring, pad, uh, pad work, and self-defense, especially when the adrenaline gets high, you start to get breathless very, very fast, all right? Because that is your body's uh, fight, fight or flight state. Okay, so <clears throat> how do we train this? Well, you can see I've got two cones at the sides here. I'm gonna go through three stamina drills you can do. A lot of you have done this in lessons with me before, but it's whether you, will include them in a routine of your own when you're at home. So the first drill is to stand by a cone. Now I've got these probably about 10 meters apart, if maybe just, just under that. You, you don't need to go a massive amount, but what you do is you start off at one cone and you go back and forth, touching as you go along. All right, then, Set yourself a buzzer or a timer perhaps. Every time you hear that buzzer, you go for a sprint. Okay, so let's say you're going and then every 15 seconds you hear the buzzer. When it goes, you sprint for that length of time. You can get plenty of apps on your phone that allow you to do interval timers. So you could, do, you could set it so that you have 30 seconds work and 15 second rest. But that 15 second rest is actually your sprint. So when the bell goes the first time, you go up and down as many times as you can at a nice pace. As soon as you hear the, the stop buzzer, that's when you go 15 seconds, full sprint. And then when it goes to the next round, you go back to jogging again. And you do that as many times as you can, okay? Another drill is you can go jog, sprint, jog, sprint, jog, sprint. So basically, you start at one end, you run down at a nice pace, and then when you get there, you get full power all the way back to your start position. And you do that as many times as, as needed, all right? That's quite a, that's quite a tough, uh, you know, in the moment, under pressure one. So it's a really good one to use, all right? So just jog up and then full power sprint coming back. And then, of course, the other one is to do as long a sprint as you can do it. So you want to give yourself maybe 20 seconds of sprint and then maybe 10, 15 seconds rest. So you kind of take the first one and flip it on its head. So instead of going for uh, jogging or a standard run for 30 seconds and then do a shorter sprint, you actually this time do a longer sprint and a shorter jog. So it's really gonna pressurize the, uh, the stamina. Okay, so the three drills. Jogging up as many times as you can. As soon as you hear the buzzer, you sprint. The second drill, jog, sprint, jog, sprint, so on. Third drill is sprint for as long as you can and then you have a, a brief rest. And as I said, it's, it's best to do this with interval timers or even a stopwatch as well. Get someone on a stopwatch for you so you can keep track of all of it. How often to do it? Well, to be honest, as often as you can. Obviously, if you do any, um, if you plan on doing any work with your legs or arms or anything like that afterwards, just make sure you've got enough energy to do it. These kind of drills are good for your, uh, you know, days where you're not planning on a, a massive workout. They're, they're quite good for just a, you know, quick 15, 20 minute uh, workout if you want to do it. 
or if that, maybe even 10 minutes, but it depends, all right? But they're just a few ideas that you can use to help you. Um, when you are running and sprinting, form is really important as well. Make sure you're driving with your legs and driving your arms, but also make sure you try and keep your head up and your chest open so your airways get maximum capacity to move and to take in the oxygen, all right? But um, yeah, let us know what you think about those, uh, those drills. Give them a try, see what you think. They are gonna be tough, but it depends on how much running you do. And of course, the amount of, if you do a, a large amount of running already, you can gate it, you can take these and you know, cater them to your, your needs. So make them longer, make them shorter, whichever. Okay, but like and share the video, enjoy, and uh, let us know how you get on with some of these drills. All right, take care of yourselves.